everyone welcome back to my channel now we're going to be looking at the signs and symptoms of pregnancy at five weeks now every single week of pregnancy comes with its own signs and symptoms there are some that come earlier than others so here are the signs you could look out for at five weeks especially for women who feel like i have done a scan they have not seen baby it's just an empty gestational sac is it that my pregnancy is progressing or not now if you're actually pregnant there are signs and symptoms you're get, going to be getting and trust me as soon as your pregnancy stops progressing all of the signs and symptoms will begin to diminish your body will begin to show you ah something might be off like i have one of my followers who reached out to me and to say seven weeks pregnant the um gestational sac is still empty and she has been given a diagnosis of a blighted ovum that's an embryonic gestation i don't know whether it's in the air that you're braided but let me just say something now and she confessed to me that at some point all of her pregnancy signs and symptoms have stopped like she was no longer feeling any of the signs and symptoms so she kind of felt in her body that all was not well all right even before the ultrasound was done so now we're going to be looking at some of the signs that you will expect at five weeks pregnant <laughs> And number one is breast tenderness now at five weeks pregnant the hormones are already building up to some extent and you're going to be getting very 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 severe breast tenderness and it could be more severe for one person than it would be for another person truth is you could get breast tenderness as a premenstrual symptoms you could get breast tenderness very early but around those five weeks breast tenderness becomes very severe like you could be feeling the pain even without touching it and another one is nipple sensitivity now the sensitivity of the nipple around this time become even more compared to the early first second third weeks and all that of pregnancy so nipple sensitivity becomes really severe like becomes really more around this time that a little brush on the nipple can really give you some very very um, nasty pain beyond what you really expect so breast tenderness at this point nipple sensitivity is very 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 obvious at this time number two is metallic taste in the mouth at this time you could begin to feel metallic taste in the mouth this is the kind of taste you feel around that five weeks and most times you will want to be carrying maybe candy in your mouth chewing gum or maybe something to just keep your mouth okay at that time so that it because it is really nasty it is really kind of uncomfortable so most times you decide to brush your mouth and the taste is still there you wake up in the morning the test taste is there and all that so the best thing you can do for yourself at this time you could keep water to be sipping from time to time you can decide to get candy to just be chewing from time to time you can decide to get chewing gum bubble gum there are different brands to just be uh, keeping yourself busy from time to time like that so that way you'll be able to um overcome the metallic taste another signs and symptoms at this point is frequent urination now by this time your sag is already beginning to develop as well like the size is beginning to increase and then pressure is beginning to be exerted on the bladder so you discover that you're making frequent trips to the restroom especially at night you discover that you sometimes before your pregnancy you could sleep all night without going to the restroom but you discover now you're getting up like three four times at night to go use the restroom so this is another sign um, that you will get at the fifth week of your pregnancy like it becomes more pronounced maybe at the early stage it might be there but around the fifth week it becomes really really more pronounced so you can watch out for this if you're getting this it's totally normal there is no abnormality at all attached to it now number four is food aversion now maybe from the beginning of your pregnancy you might just be able to eat what you want to eat but as you begin to advance to five weeks six weeks you begin to have food aversion like you might begin to have love a certain food than the other or maybe it's something you really loved before you begin to hate it at this stage of your pregnancy so you discover that this begins to kick off more from around the fifth week sixth week of pregnancy so it is one of the signs of pregnancy around the fifth week food aversion you and then food craving as well for certain food maybe some abnormal food things you really were not loving before you begin to love them 
and all that. So that is another sign that you begin to see from around the fifth week of pregnancy. Sixth one is mood swing. Now you discover that you begin to get more irritated than you used to be before. The little things that should not get you worried, should not get you upset at this point, begin to get you upset unnecessarily. You discover that you begin to get upset for no reason and maybe for just little reasons. So this is another sign that you begin to experience at this point in your pregnancy so you watch out for them they are not abnormal it is not because anything is wrong with you these are just normal signs of pregnancy that you could expect and it's just because of the accumulation of hormones in your system another one is nausea like nausea kind of span through almost uh, all this trimester although it becomes better uh, around the second trimester but you discover that nausea also begin to peak at this time like begin to feel nauseated and note that all the signs do not happen to everybody like the signs vary from person to person so you might not get but for most women nausea kind of begin to increase at this point in their pregnancy so if you're getting it you don't need to panic you don't need to worry it's totally okay another one is acne so you discover that you used to have very smooth face very lovely face no acne like you thought it is just like a baby face and all of a sudden acne is begin to break out here and there pimples rash and all that so these are due to hormonal fluctuations in your systems hormonal build up at this time so it's one of the signs of pregnancy and you begin to see them more as the pregnancy is advancing a little bit so acne is another sign of pregnancy that you will see and you should not get bothered about it it's completely normal and trust me after some time they will all go away or even if it doesn't go away it will definitely go away after you deliver your bundle of joy all right so that is it and sometimes there could be loss of appetite like you don't love anything you just don't want to eat anything you're just you just don't have love for anything food at all so you can also begin to get all of the signs around this time of your pregnancy so this are some of the signs that you will get around the fifth week to sixth week of pregnancy so if you're getting uh, any of the signs and symptoms why not you ne don't need to worry yourself at all it's totally in order now another now sign you notice at this point is fatigue and fatigue is extreme tiredness like you feel so tired getting up in the morning you, you it's difficult for you to get out of bed as soon as you sit in a place it's difficult for you to get up as soon as you lie down it's difficult for you to stand up like you just feel tired all day that is also a sign of pregnancy that begin to increase around the fifth week to the sixth week so if you're feeling really tired in pregnancy it's not an issue this will eventually resolve in the second trimester generally most of the symptoms you feel will eventually resolve as the pregnancy progresses there are people who experience this all through their pregnancy but that's very rare for most people as soon as you cross the first trimester you become very okay like you can eat anything you can actually um, stay awake you can do whatever you want to do without issue so most times you only get to experience this severe morning sickness this severe signs and symptoms in the early days of the pregnancy so that is it if you're having them don't panic it's totally okay now I talked about signs of an unhealthy pregnancy in my last video I'm going to drop the link in the description box please go check it out so you know if your pregnancy is progressing normally or not if there's any issue make sure to see your healthcare provider immediately now you get all these different signs and symptoms of pregnancy but if anyone becomes too severe that becomes unbearable for you please make sure you report to your healthcare provider so if you've not subscribed at this point click the subscribe button right away and turn on notification you can check the description for all of the videos that are related to pregnancies what to expect per time i'll see you again in the next video bye Thank <laughs> you.